some within your own party are, are wondering if President Biden should even step aside. What do you say to that? Listen, first of all, what we saw tonight is the president making a very clear contrast with Donald Trump on all of the issues that matter to the American people. Yes, there was a slow start, but it was a strong finish. And what became very clear through the course of the night is that Joe Biden is fighting on behalf of the American people on substance, on policy, on performance. Joe but Biden is extraordinarily strong. And but that, I'm sorry, that on substance and policy and performance tonight, I mean, his, the president's performance tonight clearly was disappointing for his supporters. CNN is reporting Democratic lawmakers watching the debate were worried, uh, worried about the president's performance. One said it was a, a disaster. Another called it a train wreck. Those are Democrats especially worried that Biden did not punch back on Trump's lies. Uh, listen, people can debate on style points, but ultimately this election and who is the president of the United States has to be about substance. I mean, you debated against then Vice President Trump, uh, excuse me, Vice President Biden four years ago, and he was a very different person on the stage four years ago when, when you debated him. You must, I mean, that, that's certainly true, is it not? <laughs> It was a debate. <laughs> Anderson, the point has to be performance in terms of what a president does. A right, president but, but, but who incites an insurrection against the Capitol. No, no, but I, I got the point that you're making about a one and a half hour debate tonight. I'm talking about three and a half years of performance in work that has been ex historic. But Whether is that it be the, man, the man who we the saw on the guy, stage the other tonight? Guy, is that the, the other person guy you see on the in meetings every stage. day? It was <laughs> a debate. <laughs> the person that you saw on the debate stage that has, for the, the last three and a half years, up until today, performed in a way that has been about whether it be in the Oval Office, negotiating bipartisan deals so that we have an infrastructure, a real infrastructure plan where we're putting trillions of dollars on the streets of America to upgrade our infrastructure. Whether it be the person I see in the Oval Office who is meeting with heads of the military and the intelligence community and in the Situation Room, ensuring the safety of America. The person I see in Joe Biden on the world stage convening world leaders who often ask for his advice most recently, just during the G7 conference. It was a debate. So I'm not going to spend all night with you talking about the last 90 minutes well, when I've been watching the last three and a half years of performance. That the whole reason, literally, it was a debate. It was called a debate. I Everyone understand. Traveled to the debate. There were journalists there covering the debate where there would be a debate of differences of opinion and issues. Okay. But this was a debate that your campaign wanted. You pushed for this debate at this moment. Uh, obviously, I mean, you can't honestly say, I mean, can you say that you are not concerned at all having watched the president's performance tonight? It was a slow start. That's obvious to everyone. I'm not going to debate that point. I'm talking it about the choice in November. I am 1,000% right. supportive of Joe Biden, and I will, again, do everything I can to make sure he is elected. I'm talking about one of the most important elections in our collective lifetime. And do we want to, to, to look at what November will bring and go on a course for America? that is about a destruction of democracy, electing a, a, a man who has said he'll be a dictator on day one. Wrong. And there's one person on that stage who has the endorsement of their vice president. And that's me, Joe Biden. Me. Our president, Joe Biden, wanted to be here today. He is feeling much better and recovering fast. And he looks forward to getting back on the road. And I wanted to say a few words about our president. Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched in modern history. In one term, he has already, yes, you may clap. <laughs> in one term, he has already surpassed the legacy of most presidents who have served two terms in office. Folks, it's because of you that I'm president and Kamala Harris is vice president. 
And by the way, she's not only a great vice president, she could be president of the United States. It was at this moment that he knew. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. Well, what is the tough song on your playlist right now? Well, I am still playing Cowboy Carter. And um, oh, wow. I probably, what, what's the latest? Tell me what's the latest. Well, well, on my playlist? Yeah, tell me. What, what do you uh, well, I mostly listen to like rap and R&B, so it's, it's a mix of both. I think right now my playlist is either, I'm trying to think of who is on my playlist right now. I think I either like who's have who's young and hot who you love. Like who should I be thinking about? I need some. You know, we count <laughs> we count on the young people to tell us like what's the latest dance and what's the latest music. What you got? <laughs> well, uh, appropriate songs. Appropriate for you. songs. <laughs> well, um, usually I just listen to Lil Baby and um, Cardi yeah. B and okay, Sweetie. So I listen to right. rap and R and B too, yeah, like too. LMA and Bert uh -huh. Fires. Uh huh. So, Bryson Tiller, too. So, okay. anyone okay. that you really want to. But that's a good song, the Cowboy Carter song. That's a it's very a good, good song. One, right? Yes, yeah. it's a very good song. It's a good, yeah, it's a whole, she did a bunch of them. So, it's a whole album. Okay. All right. You got to keep me posted on who's All right, like the I got hot you. music, okay? I'll send you a list. Don't worry. Because sometimes that, that information doesn't come through the White House. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I got I'll send you a list. I'll send you a list. Okay. I'm serious. <laughs> I got you. Okay. Okay. Well, can you please share some words of motivation to everyone watching my show? So just know that you have the right to be free, to live a good life, and to be you. And just be you, and you just dream with ambition. You lead with a sense of purpose, and know that we are all applauding you on. You are with a community of people who care about you. You are never alone, and you just have to know that, even though sometimes it may feel that way which is why we will work together and continue to work together to address these issues, to tackle these challenges, and to work together as we continue to work operating from the new norms, rules, and agreements that we will convene to work together on to galvanize global action. With that, I thank you all. This is a matter of urgent priority for all of us. And I know we will work on this together. I wouldn't have picked her unless I thought she was qualified to be president. From the very beginning, I made no bones about that. She is qualified to be president. That's why I picked her.